Okay, in this video, we will solve two questions. We first want to find the distance between two points. That's our first question. Second question is, we are given a midpoint, and we have point A and point B, and we want to find point B if this thing is our midpoint. So let's solve our first question. So the first question is, we simply want to find the distance between two points. And in order to find the distance between two points, we use this formula right here. And so, essentially, this is x1, y1, x2, y2. And so let's do it. We could say the distance will be the square root. Um, we said our x1 is 1, right? 1 minus parentheses x2. x2 is negative 4, so minus 4. Uh, close parentheses, cl pr close parentheses, like this, squared, plus square. Uh, you know, parentheses, y1. y1, we said was 3, minus parentheses, minus 7. So minus 7 uh, squared. So we follow this formula right here. And so we can say this is equal to the square root 1 plus 4. So 1 minus minus 4. So 1 plus 4 is 5. 5 squared is what? One, 120 is uh, 5 squared is 25. Simply, so 1 plus 4 is 5. 5 squared is 25. So 25. Next, 3 minus minus 7. 3 plus 7 is 10. 10 squared is what? 100. So plus 100. And so what we, what we have right now is the square root of 125. Can we break this out? Meaning, uh, is there a term where the square root of it will cancel? Like, we know the square root of 25 is 5, right? And there is. So 125 can be broken down into uh, 25 and 5. And we know that the square root of 25 is 5. And so we could say that our final answer would be 5 uh, square root 5. Because 5 times 5 is 25. 25 times 5 is 125. And so we know that this right here is our final answer. This is the distance between two points because we use this formula. So the next question is using the midpoint formula. Midpoint formula is this. So it's going to be um, our point. So our midpoint is this. So we say the midpoint is 6, negative 3. And our x coordinate is 2. And we don't know b. We don't know b. But we know b is x and y. So 2 plus x divided by 2. Same. 3 plus y divided by 2. So it should be pretty easy. So let's do it. And so what we're going to say here is that our midpoint is given as 6 comma negative 3 because we're given that the midpoint is 6 comma negative 3 and it's connected between A and B and we want to find B so this is equal to um, we have X coordinate X coordinate is 2 for one of them plus our second X coordinate this B we don't know anything about B and so we can simply say X we could write X2 but or you could just simply write X divided by 2 comma we do y y1 we said was 3 so 3 plus y term we don't know y for b so simply y divided by 2 and so the next thing that we're going to do is match this with this x this y with this y so let me scroll down a little bit and so what we're going to get here is that 6 is equal to 2 plus x divided by 2 and negative 3. So this is our x term. Now we're going to do our y term because we want b coordinate. So we a coordinate is x and y. And so negative 3 is equal to 3 plus y divided by 2. And so 6 times 2 is 12 is equal to 2 plus x. We're not done yet, but I'll do the same, I'll do the same thing for y. Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6 is equal to 3 plus y. Let me scroll down a little bit. And so what we're going to say here is that x is equal to 10 and that y is equal to minus 9. So now we have our coordinate. We have our x and y. So we can say that b, the coordinate of b, will be 10, comma, negative 9. And so this right here is our final answer. This is our b coordinate. And that's all we need to do for this problem. 